Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, raw review. Um, I enjoyed the show. It was alright, I guess. It wasn't a great show, but it was okay there. Um, people might get pissed off. WJ, you enjoyed the show, WJ. The show sucked. You suck, WJ. Sorry, I, I enjoy the show, people. I, I love wrestling. Started off with the whole roster on the stage there. McMahon and Stephanie came out talking trash about Roman Reigns. Reigns came out. They had a an okay exchange, I guess. There, McMahon was a bit funny. He was corny, acting a bit like a goofball there, but he he was funny a bit, you know. Um, then he said it was going to be Reigns versus all. Reigns against a bunch of jobbers or whatever for the main event. Um, he announced the first match between Ambrose and Sheamus. Ambrose is standing there looking at McMahon. Sheamus from behind. BAM! <laughs> Ambrose rolls on the ground. Sheamus walks over him. Heads to the ring. We cut to the commercial, we come back. First match, Dean Ambrose against Sheamus. It ended in a double count out. A cheap finish or whatever. Match was okay. But we got blood! Sheamus fucking bleeding or whatever, so. Blood! Match fucking sucked. Damn, we got blood, guys. Come on, guys, blood. It was good, guys. Second match, Titus O'Neil defeated Stardust in another short, boring, pointless piece of fucking shit match that nobody fucking wants to see. Why are we getting this crap? What the hell kind of feud is this there? Fucking jobber fucking feud bullshit. Move on from this fucking crap. Then we had Jericho, the New Day, and the Usos. Like a promo skit, whatever. Bunch of fucking jobbers talking in the ring there. It's Chris Jericho. I like Jericho, but he's a bit corny now, a little bit with the jacket and, and the haircut and shit there. Um, they... During this skit, they made it look like if Jericho was going to fight. Oh, there's three of us. There's three of you. Let's get it on. Cut to commercial. I'm expecting a six-man tag with Jericho. Cut to commercial. Jericho is just in their corner. That's just cheap fucking false advertising to get us to tune back in after the commercial. Three of us against three of you. That sounds like a six-man tag. That, that's what it fucking sounds like. <laughs> Come back. Jericho's in their corner in the tag match. Which was match number three. The Usos defeated the New Day. Jericho with some, you know, interference or whatever. He broke the trombone. This caught the attention of one of the New Day, New Day members. Roll up. One, two, three. Match was okay, I guess. The Jericho trombone shit was a bit funny, but not that funny. Sting was then announced as the first entrant or whatever in the 2016 Hall of Fame class. There's a real motherfucking main eventer. The Stinger grew up watching Stang in WCW. Matches against Ric Flair, Vader, shit like this. There to stand, people. Um, that's a guy who deserves the Hall of Fame. Fourth match. We had the Wyatts against the Social Outcasts. Social Outcasts. 
Heath Slater and other jobbers, Curtis Axel, they come out like tough guys to face the Wyatts, which was a bit funny there just then, the, coming out like tough guys there. Match starts, about a minute later, Ryback runs into the ring. God fucking knows why. And the match just ends. The fuck is this? Match starts a minute. Right back. <laughs> match just ends like this. I guess it was a way to bring out the social outcasts and not have them job right away, I guess. Make them look a bit tough. Uh, Without having to lose to the Wyatts, you can't have the Wyatts lose to social outcasts. I get that there, but they could have had the match for more than a minute before fucking it up. I don't know. Fifth match, Kalisto defeated Alberto Del Rio and became the new U.S. champion. I have no problem with it there. Kalisto is about four feet tall. Got no problem with it. Match was good or whatever. Um, but it does kind of bring the value down of the U.S. title. You had Big John Cena. Then you have Del Rio, a former world champ or whatever, just defeated Cena. Then you have Kalisto, it's just, doesn't, doesn't have a, the same impact there. It's back in, in the jobber territory, the belt, you know what I'm saying? Then you had Charlotte, she was going to fight Brie Bella. Becky comes in, attacks Charlotte, Flair cancels the match. So I don't know what was the fucking point of having three, four matches that, you know, don't happen. <laughs> you know, a minute match or matches that end before they even start. More fucking garbage with this Charlotte Flair crap. Then in the main event, we had Roman Reigns versus All. So that was Reigns against Kevin Owens. And jobbers that were out there. Um, this this uh, this match between Owens and, and Reigns was was decent. Um, after a while, everybody jumped in. They start attacking Reigns. Lesnar comes out, beats up a bunch of people, picks up Roman Reigns. You know. Yeah, that's fucking nailed that son of a bitch. And I enjoyed that part there, so that was cool. Um, like I said, it wasn't a great Raw. It's not like fucking good show, dog. But it was all right. It had some decent moments here and there. Uh, you know, garbage too and, and shit there, but... Whatever, better than last week. I, I enjoyed it there, so decent show, let's say. Until next time, peace!